Does Zynga have any zing left in it or will it crash? Because, oh my goodness, it has been such a powerful ride on this one if you happen to be on it. And it's one of those that is really fun to do an analysis on. And this is a good opportunity to say, hey, you know what? This is for entertainment purposes only, right? Not advice in any way, shape, or form. So consult a financial advisor if you can do that. Here at Strategic, uh, Strategic uh, Investing Trends, we like doing these analysis and sharing them with people so that they can uh, do their own due diligence and see if they agree or disagree. Uh, if they have some additional uh, knowledge that we don't know, we obviously benefit from that as well and want to make sure that you uh, get some value out of this if it's just learning which is what we want to do so let's get to it and see what the price is going to be on this it was going to crash is it going to go is it what do we see all right this is a long-term trend so if we're looking at this we're looking at the monthly chart so we can get some nice strong data from that and it's been on a nice tear hasn't it from where the when we got a notification here to where it's at right now that would have been a nice 270 percent gain or if we had happen to be so fortunate as to catch it from the bottom to its current price to its high point it would have been 592. now that's is that mean it's done is it is that's it it's finished well not quite in my opinion there is a pattern here that's showing up that is that it's been developing for a long long time and so much so that i have to draw it this way and we have what's called the double bottom here one and we got a second bottom and then from here it took off and it's come up into this direction and it seems like it's trying to break new highs so will it break new highs is it ready to make that jump we don't know how just yet however what we can to tell you is that it wants to seem to want to take a little bit of a break before it makes that next run up so if that's the case would i be picking it up right here no nah, not on the monthly chart it doesn't feel like i'm ready now that being said let's look at it from a weekly perspective and see what we can find from there because up from the weekly perspective, we've been getting some pretty nice notifications here letting us know, for example, let's take that to that, it's 47%. Let's take that last little run from here to where we're at right now, 10%. All these are just really, really nice. Um, and you don't have, I don't have to be watching them uh, if, I was, if I was looking at this particular stock. Now, I don't own any of it, uh, but I'm looking to sit there and go, hmm, is this something that I'm ready to jump into? and go and try to make another run at it now on the weekly basis here it's been holding some pretty darn good support right in here and like we said before it seems like it wants to try to make it run for this area it made a little initial jump up here uh, let's take a look at uh, fibonacci retracements here for a moment and seeing how far it did retrace from high to low on this particular case and we are going to say that it's retraced all the way to the 618 so it seems like it tried to get up to the 786 and it, it was not able to that first round and there's some consolidation going on right here and if it manages to stay in this area which it seems to be trying to do but it's kind of running out of steam here a little bit we see one two we see about one two three times that it tried to get um, to, to drop down it seems to have found some support right in this area which is a good sign for it and but if it's if it's able to sustain that support right in there one two three I uh, would be watching the mid uh, the sort of the average of this right in here these highs right here can it stay above this zone if it can then it can be a very nice run up to 18% if it goes there if it manages to break into the highs it would be a good 46% just from where it's at of course it has to stay up there there's also the risk on the downside where this is forming the possibly a, a head and shoulders if you know about head and shoulders it would be something like this here there's a shoulder right here neckline the head another shoulder beginning of another shoulder Oop, right here another shoulder 
and if it breaks below these levels right around the 1050 level then it's very possible that it wants to take another ride down into this region to see if it can find support right around here why that region because we had some previous levels right there that were trying to be broken and were not able to be broken before it jumped up and that is a bit of a drawdown if you do take that down let's say you let's say i took a trade here and i came down that's a 22 percent loss to a potential 46 percent gain okay that's still pretty decent reason recent odds decent odds now if you're if i'm a little more conservative which i would be in this scenario because it's been pumping for so long then i would be looking at possibly saying you know what if it gets below these levels here i'm looking to get out and take that 11 percent loss move on from there and start again do another analysis that's why this this game is to me is very interesting to be able to get the levels and be able to have a better understanding of where these things jump there's a lot of tools and resources that we use which help us to be able to get a better idea so let's go off of here there's a tool that I've shown in other videos before and if you want to stay connected to us and be able to learn more as we go then all you simply got to do is hit that like button share and comment so that we can go ahead and share uh, get the notifications out to you as soon as they video these videos come out so 11.46 percent loss to a 46 possible contained gain that's a four a four of uh, risk, uh, uh, risk to reward four to one risk to reward ratio approximately which can be really good right so that would be roughly what i would be looking at if i was uh, potentially if i was thinking of getting in here now knowing that it has a likelihood to continue to push down a little bit more i would want to see what these prices are opening uh, especially since we're on a weekend right now and seeing if that's going to take another little shot down before it goes up this tool that we have we call the hulk this hulk it seems very strong just like the hulk is and it allows us to be able to have a sense that if it jumps into the mid zone of that that could be a really nice entry and that would help us gain even more of a percentage and reduce the risk possibly even more so i would say right around there maybe a little higher right there with as close as we're right about there that would make it a 54 percent so they added an extra five percent is it worth it to me i would potentially go yeah you know what i'm willing to take that risk and that low, lower level would be below the lowest low here to get um, to try to make sure that you don't get uh, wake, what we call waked out. It just bumps and then that's it. And then they take off to the other side. So that being said, uh, let's go to the daily and see what, if we see anything that helps us to be able to get a better idea of what's going on. Oh, we're getting a long notification. Now, long notifications on a sideways trend which this is in right here this is still considered a sideways trend uh, we can go up and down as you can see up down up down up now we need to get a better sense on the overall picture being that this is looking like it wants to go up hopefully this head and right this head and shoulders is invalidated and so far it has been because it's bounced once twice and it looks like it wants to continue on up then that gives us slightly better odds to potentially get, try to take that right up. So this is looking pretty good if I'm looking at something that's around 50% return on what I what I do. Of course, it may take weeks uh, to be able, or maybe months for it, for that to finish. However, let's take a see, let's take an idea, let's get an idea of how long this last run took. Last run from here to here, Let's go up in this region, um, if I can get there, close enough. That is 102 days, and right now we've been at about 102 days, well, close to where we're at. So could it be due for a jump? Ooh, it could be, it could be, and if it does, uh, I would be, well, I'd be personally watching this very closely uh, tomorrow, as, in, or the, as soon as the market's open and seeing if it gives me an indication of where it wants to go. Of course, nothing goes straight up. It has to be up and downs, kind of like you see here. And from there, we can see if it's gonna hit those levels. But it looks very promising. I am put this in my radar and seeing if I'm gonna definitely monitor it and do some updates as we go. And if you want those updates, click that notify button, like, subscribe, and become one of those that gets these uh, notifications when we put them out. All right. Have an awesome time and may you be profitable and abundant in your trading.